Always wet your joint tape before you tape or never wet your joint tape. Hey, there's a lot of discussion about that, so let's cover that next. Hey, thanks for stopping by my channel here at That Celtic Guy Videos. And as always, I appreciate you guys. And what we're going to do today, we're going to try and put to bed the discussion about should you wet your tape or shouldn't you? Now, most pros, I'd say 99% of you, you'd never wet your tape. Not if you're doing a lot of this. If you occasionally tape, maybe. But I'm talking about production guys who tape all the time. We don't wet our tape. I never heard of it until recently and then i hear in the discussion a lot of you are saying i've been doing it for 20 years never had a problem i tried it it failed i'm hearing everything all across the board so let's test that today okay so what i've got here is a piece of 5h sheetrock i put some green tape across the top and i labeled three not wet and three wet so we're going to wet three pieces of tape and just drop them into the mud and wipe them down like normal and then we're going to do three where we don't wet the tape so we're going to use the same thickness of mud the same mud the same kind of tape the only difference is over here we're going to wet it now we are going to use the good old all-purpose green label that's the kind of like gold standard for taping in drywall because it has a little more adhesive in it you can actually buy taping mud which is slightly different. I think it has a little more adhesive and some other things to make it wipe down. But most guys I know just grab this stuff and tape with it. So that's what we're going to do. Okay, so we're using Sheetrock brand paper tape, your ordinary paper tape. We are using that all purpose. It is thinned down quite a bit, kind of like you would use if you're taping in a bazooka or a banjo. So let's just go ahead and put some on. Okay, you wonder if I'm going to put it up or down. I think it doesn't matter. I just did a video about that. If you want to check that out, we can discuss that over there. Okay, this is interesting if you can see this. The tape is got a different color and all in the middle, indicating it's probably a little thicker right there and a little thinner out here. I wasn't sure about that, but that's what the wetness is indicating. So let's put this on here. I can tell you I find this a pain to do. It's really not something I would ever do even after this test. Okay, you can see in the picture here, these three definitely look wet. They definitely look wetter on the outside. My initial feel for it is I think they're all going to be stuck fine. I really think it's technique. I don't think either is going to help either. What I might do is peel one up right now while it's wet and see if I can tell any difference. And also I noticed it kind of thinned my mud down even more, made it more drippy which would make it more of a pain in that respect. So let's do the outside one of the not wet and see if it feels any different and how it looks underneath. Okay, that felt stuck plenty good. Now the wet side, 
definitely comes up easier wet, but I would expect that. And then on the back side of the joint tape, I'll take a close up picture of the back side to see if we can see any difference there. Okay, one thing you can see in the close up is the not wet side, it's stuck to the tape more. The wet side didn't bring as much mud up. That tells me it's not stuck to the paper as good. So maybe it is going to be weaker with the water. If I was going to predict anything, I, I would predict that it would be weaker with the water. Let's look at something else here. Somebody else pointed this out in the comments, and I think it's a valid point. And that is, if you look at this magnified illustration of paper tape on top, with a thin layer of water on the paper tape because you wet it and then joint compound under that and then the drywall. Well, you can see that there's a possibility that thin layer of water is going to weaken the bond between the joint compound and the paper tape because of the film strength of water. So that's something else to consider and another reason I won't be doing this so we're going to let that dry overnight and then we're going to pull them up and see if we can tell which ones are stuck better or if it really did make any difference or not. Okay, this has had several days to dry. So now let's do a close up over here as I peel up on each one and see if it made a difference to how well they stuck. Okay, we got the not wet tape side over here, the wet side over here. So let's peel one of these up and see how it does. And as I expected, it is delaminating the paper. So that means it's stuck really well. Let's try one from the wet side. And it's actually delaminating over there too. So back to the not wet side. Okay, that's totally delaminated right down the middle. That's perfect. Can't be stuck any better. So that one did too. Let's try one more. Okay, I gotta say that one is not stuck as well. You can see that it only delaminated this small part right here. The rest of it, that actually just came up cleanly. Okay, I want to point out one more thing before you go. You notice that on the back side of this tape, and it would be, let's see, it would be this one. There's no mud right here. You notice how on these it is? Well, that actually shows it didn't stick as well too, because what I did is I pulled these up a little bit, and I pulled gently to see if the mud would come off of that back side so that that wouldn't affect how well it was stuck. Well, it came off of these two fine, but when I was pulling on these two, it felt like it wasn't gonna come loose without tearing the tape. And I can tell right there, it's delaminating the tape right there. So on both of these, it is stuck better even right there. So what's my final take on this? Well. Number one is it's not necessary to wet your tape. I don't know where that came from. It's really kind of like an old wives tale for some of you. And this right here pretty much proves that it doesn't stick as good either. It's not a huge difference. It sticks. That's why a lot of you are saying that you've done it this way a long time and you haven't had problems with it. Well, it does stick, but I personally would want the one that sticks the best and there's just no benefit to it. If you thin your mud down right, it'll wipe down just fine. So if you're finding that this helps because it feels like it wipes down easier, that tells me you probably aren't thinning your mud down enough. And if you are, well, I still wouldn't do it this way because it, if, you get, if you just get good at wiping down the tape, when you're taping you should not need to wet it so so i still welcome your comments let me know if you've done it this way a long time i'd like to hear about it 
If you've seen failures either way, comment down below. Let's get some discussion going about it, but you now know my take. I hope that helped you out. And as always, I thank you guys for stopping by. I appreciate the thumbs up and the comments, and I look forward to seeing you on the next video. Take care, everybody.